Hi everyone, it's Kaylee and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today filming this video for the second time because the first time I filmed it, I, excuse my finger, I was holding my phone the other way, like vertically, and I don't like that. So I need to refilm it. Um, and also I think I was covering up the microphone like 90% of the time. So here we are again. Um, I, if you've been watching my channel, I mostly do wax content. But another hobby of mine and something else that I love is coffee. And so I wanted to give you guys a tour of my coffee bar. Um, I've shared a couple of my drinks in my videos, like when I filmed hauls and waxy things. I've shared a couple of the drinks I was currently drinking that I had made. Um, I love making lattes, my favorite thing ever. So I wanted to show you guys kind of the tools I'm using and the coffee bar I've built up over time because I'm really proud of it. It's taken me some time to get here. You know, you can't buy everything all at one time. And so it's taken me time to get here, but I'm really proud of it. Um, if you can tell the space that my coffee bar is in is not that big, like it's pretty. So it's basically the size of two regular size cabinets. It's pretty small. Um, and yes, my kitchen really needs to be redone, my cabinets and countertops, but we won't talk about that. Um, so I, you know, I'm really proud of it, what I've done with it with the space I have. So we're going to jump in and I'm going to share with you guys my machines first, and then we'll get into the things that are over here. And then I have some things in this cabinet over here that I'd like to share. And also I would like to share with you guys some of my favorite coffee mugs. Um, my kitchen light just did a weird thing, but okay. So we're going to start over here. I'm trying really hard not to cover my microphone again or my camera. Oh my goodness. Okay. So over here are my two machines. So this is my original machine, my, my first machine, because this is not an original machine. This is the Nespresso Virtuo line machine, and this is the Espresso original line machine. So not to be confused, um, but this was the one I had started with. I recommend this machine if you are transitioning to Nespresso from a drip, co drip coffee system or a Keurig because this machine is the only Nespresso machine that will allow you to brew a full 7.7 .7 ounce size coffee. The original machine does not. So we're gonna talk a little bit about this one and then we'll talk about this one. So the Virtuo line machine is really nice because you can brew so many different sizes. You, They have capsules in the espresso size. You can get a single shot espresso size a double shot espresso size, a Lungo. Oh, actually, I don't think you can do a Lungo with the Virtuo line. You can do a Grand Lungo. You can do a 14 ounce, which is huge, or you can do a 7.7 .7 ounce, which is like your regular cup of coffee. So this one um, has the water tank back here. This is the Virtuo Plus, by the way. Um, you turn it on up here with this button. It blinks while it's heating. And this, I only usually have to refill like once a week, if that. So it holds a lot of water, um, especially because I don't usually drink anything more than a double espresso. So um, this one, once it's on, you just hit that and it comes up. Um, you put the capsule in here. You close it, you brew it, you open it again. The capsule will then, these things right here will grab the capsule. And when you open it, um, once you're done, it'll kind of shoot it back into a little empty capsule holder, and then you can um, recycle them after that. It has the drip tray, which you can move up depending on like what you're making. This is like for a single shot cup, like an espresso size mug. You can move it down. You can move it all the way down if you have like a nice to go mug. So that is my Virtuo line machine. This is my original line machine. This is my newest edition. This is the Ascensa Mini, and it is so small hence why it's called a mini um like in comparison to my hand like you can just tell it's so small and I love it so much so one of the reasons we got this was because we are currently still using a Keurig or we were a Keurig in our um RV and I once you go Nespresso it's really hard to go back to a Keurig or drip coffee in my opinion and so I was just like every time this summer I would drink from the Keurig when we were camping I was like ew this isn't even good anymore <laughs> I miss my Nespresso so we decided to look into what the most compact one is and this one the Ascensa Mini has great reviews um I've seen lots of people who have had it and have loved it you can travel with it the box is nice and small so I will put it back in the box to take with us when we go camping 
it will fit on my counter in my camper because it's so small. So really excited about this one. So this one is not currently plugged in because we only have two outlets back there. And currently my Virtuo machine is plugged in because this is the one I last used. Um, and then my frother is plugged in down below. But this one you just turn on with the push. You can either push the espresso or the Lungo button. And this one, so this one can brew an espresso, a single shot, or if a um, original line capsule recommends Lungo, you can also brew Lungo, which is like three point something ounces, whereas espresso is 1.35. So for this one, you just open it, you put your thing in, you close it, and you push the button you want, and it brews. Um, this one is a little louder and vibrates a little bit more than this one, but I think that's normal. Like I think if you've ever heard an espresso machine, they are not quiet, so... Um, I usually don't keep them this close together, but I had to move it so I could show you guys some of my syrups and stuff. So over here, I think I'll just start back here with my syrups. So this, I'm at pretty much maximum capacity. I have these Tarani syrups. I have a syrup here and a couple down below, but pretty much this is all I can fit. So we've got um, a chocolate chip cookie dough syrup. We've got bear with me I'm gonna have to pull them out and then put them back pumpkin spice which is my favorite right now I love this with some white chocolate sauce so good we've got um toasted marshmallow we've got I believe this is the white chocolate yep white chocolate can't go without that always have to have that on hand yikes pistachio which is another one of my favorites and I think back here is brown sugar cinnamon yes so brown sugar cinnamon. Um, so those are the syrups I currently have on the counter. Down below, I think I just have a French toast one and a caramel, but I'll show you guys that when I get there. Um, and then over here is where I keep my capsules and kind of all my tools. So this is, I just put up all my fall decor. So I have this, it just says pumpkin spice lattes, please. And then I also have this hanging up up here, just a little autumn picture, but um, I like to keep the decor over here simple because there is a lot going on as far as like my tools and stuff go. So yeah, so back here are the Virtuo line capsules. So I'm going to show you the options you get with Virtuo line as opposed to original line. So Virtuo line, you can do a 7.7 .7 ounce coffee size capsule and this barcode that you see right here is what the machine will read to decide what size of pot it is and how much water you need to, it needs to dispense with it. So this is the 7.7 .7 ounce in the flavor Melozio. And this is the pod or the capsule that I will brew for somebody who wants a coffee but is not used to Nespresso. So if someone is coming to my house, like my parents, for instance, they, uh, they drink pretty much drip coffee or Keurig coffee. And so this is something I would give them if they wanted a cup of black coffee because it's the most like what they're used to. And it's good. I really like this. If I'm just in the mood for just a nice coffee, I'll just do this with a little bit, like a quarter cup of milk, a little bit of maybe like caramel flavoring. Perfect. Um, the other, I've got a ton of different flavors, but my newest addition is this pumpkin spice cake, which is also a 7.7 .7 ounce. This is really good. It's limited edition beautiful. Um, I don't reach for it a whole lot because of the size. Like I said, I don't usually do the 7.7 .7 ounce coffee sizes, but this is really good. Then Virtua line also does um, single espresso shots. This is in the flavor Altissimo. It's a pretty intense one. It is a single espresso and it is 1.35 ounces. So you can see the difference. If I kind of bring you guys down here, that's the full size coffee and this is the espresso shot. And then you can also do a double espresso shot. This is double espresso dulce, which is my favorite double espresso flavor that they have. And this is 2.7 ounces. So you get two shots of espresso in this one capsule. And so you can kind of see the difference here too. So you have like, if I put them in a better order, you have the full size 7.7 .7 ounce coffee 2.7 ounce double espresso, 1.35 ounce single espresso. So you can see the size difference in those. And that's what one of the perks with the Virtuo line machine is you can do so many different sizes. I, they also have a, oops, they also have a uh, 14 ounce one. I've never tried it before. I have one, um, but I've never tried it because that's a lot of coffee. And the only way I'd really want to do that is if I was making two cups of coffee, like for two people. So down here, 
are my original line capsules and these ones are single espresso shots now some of them like the pumpkin spice cake will say it's better brewed as a lungo i don't agree with that i like brewing all of these as single espressos and when i make a latte i just do two of them there are people who will brew one twice for a double espresso I just find that waters it down a little too much for me. I like to be able to take, taste my coffee. So I just will do two pods um, or two capsules. So I've got, I don't know the flavors of these as well, because like I said, this is newer to me than the Virtuo line where the Virtuo line, like I can pull out a capsule and say, oh, this is Dulce. This is pumpkin spice cake. This is Melozio. This is Mexico. Like I can pull them out and I just, this is Altisio. Like I can just pull them out and I know what is what. Whereas with these ones, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I do know this is pumpkin spice cake. Um, I know that this one's Miami. Miami's also good. I know there's another one in here. I know this is Chiaro. So like some of them I do know, but not a lot of them. So um, still learning those, but I'm really enjoying that machine as well. And then back behind there, I have just a white coffee mug that holds some of my stir sticks, my measuring spoons, like I've got my, you know, these measuring spoons, and then stir, like spoons to actually stir your coffee with. So that's usually much more full, but a lot is in the dishwasher right now. And then back here is where I'm currently just storing my hand frother. I got this just from like FabFitFun or something, and I really like it, but I really want one of those that has a little stand. That's what I'm going for next is a hand frother that you put on a stand because then I'll have like, I could put it like right here. You know what I mean? This one's kind of hard to store, but um, hand frothers do not underestimate those. They work like a charm. So, um, and then I have here is just a little olive oil dispenser that's holding my vanilla syrup, which I don't reach for too often. And then I have a peppermint syrup, which is really good to make like a nice peppermint white mocha. Mm. And then right here is my Arashino 3, which came, it is an espresso milk frother. It came with my Virtuo line machine as a bundle. So this, you just put your milk in there. There's a whisk down there. Um, you can press it to do a hot froth, or you can press and hold to do a cold froth. So that is a really nice feature of this frother. I will say over time, I'm finding that it's not frothing my stuff as well, and I so when this one does eventually die, I don't think I'm going to go get another Nespresso one. There is one on Amazon I've heard a lot of good things about that's like 40 bucks that I'll pick up as opposed to this, which I think is like 170 to replace on its own. And it's like, I, I don't think it's worth $170. So yeah, I will get something different when this does eventually die. Um, and then I just have a little coaster that I can use to put my spoons and stuff on when I'm making things. So down below here... I have, I'm not going to go too much into detail because there's just, I don't want to pull everything out, but I have like my pots and pans take up half the shelf and then I have like my hand mixer and stuff back there. But down here is all of my different coffee capsules for my original and Virtuo line machine. Um, if you want me to go through what capsules I have and which are my favorites, I can do a video on that, but I'm not going to do that right now because this is just too much to go through. Um, and then above that, I have like a backup pistachio syrup, a backup pumpkin spice, and then we keep, uh, oh, and then this one, this is a French toast syrup. It's really good. I haven't used it in a while. Um, and then we keep all of our sauces down here too, because there's no room up there. But I will say if you are someone, like if you're wanting to get into making lattes, which I mean, you can do this with coffee, like a coffee too, but lattes typically like traditionally are espresso based drinks. But anyways, if you're wanting to get into it, I recommend you really need syrups and sauces. When I first started, I only did the syrups and I like it, I wasn't achieving what I wanted. Like I still was wanting to run to Starbucks because their drinks were better. Um, and all I had to do was practice for one, but also having these sauces it is a game changer. And now I don't even know the last time I went to Starbucks because I don't, last time I did go, it, that drink was like not as good as what I could make at home. So I have a pumpkin pie sauce, which is great for making a pumpkin spice latte. We have a dark chocolate sauce. My husband's current favorite 
is this cookies and cream sauce. I like this on vanilla ice cream too. It's really good. Caramel, of course, you can't have like a coffee bar without caramel sauce. And then my current favorite for coffee or for lattes is the white chocolate because it literally goes with everything. It goes with pistachio. It goes with pumpkin spice. It goes with peppermint. It goes with the cookie dough. It goes with literally anything. Add white chocolate sauce and it makes it amazing. So those are the current sauces we have. I pretty much shop from Tarani. There is another brand called Monin that makes really good, really good syrups. But I find Tarani to be just like the most affordable. And right now, that's just what I've been purchasing. I'm not saying that I'll never go to a different brand. But right now, that's what I like. So that's kind of what's down here. I also like back here have a little container, if you can see it, with some extra Virtuo line um, capsules that I had gotten that I was just a little afraid to try because they were intense and like so they're back there if I ever want to try them most of them are the 7.7 .7 ounce size or the Grand Longo which is a 5.7 or 5.07 ounce and I don't like love that size either and then I have a couple of those 14 ounce pods back there that I'm like not really caring to use and then um, back behind these I just have some spare like unopened I have like back there, there's a caramel syrup and then an extra white chocolate and an extra caramel sauce. So that's everything down here. Like I said, I can go into the coffee with more detail if you'd like later, like in a different video, but that's a little bit too much to do right now. Um, and then over here, I have this, this had come with my original line machine. So we're just very slowly working our way through this little sampler and seeing what we like. So, but I also have like, other flavors over here so yeah I've just kind of been storing this right here because I don't really know what else to do with it um, but that is my coffee bar I'm going to go ahead and pause the video I'm going to pull down some of my favorite mugs and I'm going to share with you guys those so I will be right back all right so I've pulled down some of my most favorite mugs and I'm gonna I have them kind of organized by size or what I use them for um just know I have quite the mug collection but this is excuse my dogs but um, this is what I reach for on a daily basis. So, and I've really tried to um, decrease my mug collection because I really only need what I'm reaching for. So anyways, I'm gonna go over these. Back here, just so you know, these are just tomatoes and tomatillos from our garden. So it looks kind of weird, but it's nothing weird. So anyways, let's start up front here. I have my two sizes that I will pull if I'm just doing a single espresso drink. So my husband has, um, like he'll use this one. This is like a five ounce cup or something. Like he'll do a single, like this morning he had a single espresso shot and it went up to like right here. Um, and if he wanted to add some milk, he could, and it would still have room. So this is perfect just for that really quick, like you're trying to get out the door, you want a shot of espresso, um, you put your shot in here, you drink it black, or you throw some milk and, fl and syrup on top. Like it's just a good, good, quick espresso, quick espresso drink mug. <laughs> and then this is my Fiesta wear. And it's so funny because we have, so I have the, all, the set, the dish set. So I have the bowls, the big plates, the small plates and the coffee mugs that are this size from the Fiesta wear. And when I originally got these, I was like, what in the world am I going to use these for? They're so small. Like when I originally got these dish sets, I have eight of these. And at that time I was drinking like Keurig coffee. And so I, that wouldn't even fit in this cup. And so I just didn't touch these. And when I got the Nespresso machine, I was like, oh, this is literally perfect for a shot of espresso and some milk on top. And so that's another one good for that. Um, I should tell my husband that because he's been asking what to use for just a single shot and he can use that too. It is a little bit bigger as you can tell than the one I just showed you, but it still works really well for that. And it works better for that than any other size. This next row is my go-to for my lattes. So when I make a latte, I do two shots of espresso and about a half a cup of milk and my syrup and sauce. So these all fit those lattes perfectly. So this is just the seasonal one I pulled out. I always have seasonal mugs. Well, for fall and Christmas I do. And I have like five more fall mugs, but they're still currently put away in the garage and I need to find them. But I just picked this one up from Target for $5 and I've used it already. And I love this. 
So I always, I want to just pull this down to show you, like I always have seasonal mugs that I use as well. So um, this one along with my four or five other fall mugs I'll be pulling for, I'm sure, over the next few months. And that will fit a double espresso latte very nicely. Then I just have this clear double wall mug from Amazon. And it's actually the same like brand as this little one I showed you already. They're just the double wall mugs and this works great for keeping your lattes hot and again just like the other one works great for a double shot latte love that one I love being able to see my drinks I think that's so fun okay this one is from Nespresso and it's just another clear very thick um, coffee mug so this is I reach for these quite often I have two of them and I typically like um, as long as we run the dishwasher every day, I will probably use these like four or five times a week. Like maybe, okay, maybe that's exaggerated. Maybe like three or four times a week. So I really like those ones. Um, this is another one that I love that I will use like the rest of the week. So like when I'm not using my my uh, Nespresso glass one or like a seasonal one, I'll use these. This is also from Nespresso's website. This is their Origin Line mugs. Their Origin Line mugs come in different sizes all the way from espresso size all the way up to the coffee mug size. This is the coffee mug size. I can't tell you if there's one size bigger than this or not, but I love this size for my double espresso lattes. When you do a double espresso latte, by the time you have your two shots of espresso and the crema that the machine produces because it's quality coffee, and then you add your frothed milk, your tablespoon or so of syrup, like by the time all that is said and done, this is filled to like right here to like that. Like right here so these work really really well and I absolutely love these it's like a matte white on the outside and um, a blush pink on the inside or like a peachy pink so love these ones I have two of them and then this one is the last one for that I will use for like lattes this is a just I just got these from Amazon this was a set of two it came with this pink one and then one that's like gray um, I love these ones I think they're really like aesthetically pleasing and they're just really fun. So these ones are also really nice. They hold up really well. They do scratch, if you can tell in there, the spoon that I used to stir has scratched it quite a bit. But I mean, when you have your coffee in there, it doesn't matter. So these are really nice. Again, Amazon. And then next back here, we've got some iced coffee things and some things I will use for my full-size coffee. So when I do a 7.7 .7 ounce coffee, you have to do, if you're going to add any milk, your mug has to be big which is interesting because I never, like with my Keurig, if I was going to do an eight ounce, I easily could have gotten away with this or even like this one or this one. No, not that one. That's the espresso one. Sorry. Or this one easily. Like I easily could have gotten away with that with my Keurig. The thing with Nespresso coffee is that it is good quality and the machine creates the crema. So you have this layer on top of your coffee that's like this. So you have that extra volume. And then when you add frothed milk, your milk almost doubles in size. So you don't even realize until you try how big of a mug you actually have to have for a 7.7 .7 ounce capsule. So one of them that I'll use for that is this one. This is a double wall, another double wall, just tall mug. Love it. Um, yeah, just not much else to say there. This is another great one. This was a $5 mug from Target. It's huge. It's wide and like tall. Well, it's not as tall as the other one, but it's big. And so this will hold a nice cup of coffee with uh, about a quarter cup of... So when I do the 7.7 .7 ounce capsules, I'll do the capsule, about a quarter cup of frothed milk, and then some flavoring. So that'll hold that. And then um, I got this from Amazon, and this is another really big one. And this one also, I'm not sure about how many ounces. I don't know how many ounces these are. Uh, this one is 16 ounces. So this is a 16 ounce mug. So I'm guessing these are about the same because they hold the same amount of stuff. So this is a really nice one from Amazon. Um, if you just search coffee mug, I think this one pops up on like the first page because I think it's like a good seller right now. So this one's really nice. I like the shape of it. It's really fun. And then, yeah, this one. And then over here... Currently, one of my favorite to-go mugs is this from Nespresso. It's the Nomad Collection. Um, it's dishwasher safe. The pink part pulls away from the metal part or the stainless steel part, and you can put all of it in the dishwasher. Um, you just push it down. You can drink from any side. 
and you pop it back up to lock it. I also use, which I don't have one clean and I'm not going to show you a dirty one because that's gross, but I use, um, if you guys have ever heard of Brewmate, they make all sorts of drinkware. Um, I love their coffee mugs. They're called, I think it's their toddy mugs. I love those too. So I have two of those and I have one of these and then I have a hydro flask one that I'll use, but that's like a little bit older. So I don't use it as often, but Brewmate makes great, great to go coffee mugs. They have a toddy size and then a larger size. Um, the toddy size is pretty much, what is it comparable to? Kind of like this one. So it holds a nice double espresso latte. And then um, over here, these are what I'll use if I make iced coffee. I don't make a lot of iced coffee. I work, um, so like I'm off in the summers. So in the summers, I'll have one hot coffee in the morning and then I'll have an iced coffee in the afternoon and I'll just use these pretty much. Um, during the school year, I have an iced, I mean a hot coffee when I wake up and I'll drink that while I'm like, like relaxing in the morning or getting ready. And then I will usually generally bring another hot coffee to work with me. I actually should pull down what I use if I bring an iced coffee to work. Hold on. Um, let me pause. Uh, hold on. You guys are going to sit right here for just a minute while I grab it. Okay. Okay. Um, so I totally forgot to pull this down, but this is so okay, iced coffee. So if I drink iced coffee at home, I'll use these two. This is just, it was our set of glasses. I think most of them have broken at this point, but we just bought this set of like eight or 10 at um, TJ Maxx, I think. And then this, I don't even know where it came from. It was just a nice, it was just a tall mason jar type thing. I don't, like I said, I have no idea where I got it or why I have it or how I have it, but it works really well. For iced coffee, I will just do a double shot of espresso and then I'll top that with, no. So the way I do it, I do my ice I do my syrup and sauce, then I pour my milk in and I fill my milk, I don't know, till about right here. And then I'll top it off with my double espresso and it fits it perfectly. You can put some whipped cream on top, so good. Um, but yeah, so those two work really well. When I go to work, I have these just plastic Starbucks type mugs. I have two of them. But like I said, I don't generally take iced coffee to work. So when I do, this is just what I use nice and big it's basically the size of a venti drink at starbucks and then so i have that one and then i have this chaos coordinator one i've gotten from i want to say i might have got, i either got this when i bought like a teacher t-shirt or i got it from a student i can't remember um but yeah so i'll use those for iced coffees as well but i'm not iced coffee <laughs> For some reason, every time I drink an iced coffee, whether it's made at home or from Starbucks, I get a headache. So I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't know if that's like a thing, but so I don't drink it very often. I really have to be in the mood. So anyways, these are my favorite mugs. These are the mugs I reach for all the time. Like I said, I have more, another type of mug that we really enjoy. Let me see if I can show you guys in here. We also really enjoy those to go, or those, what are those called? These Starbucks ones that you can get when you go places. So we have like a Hawaii one. We have a Philadelphia one, a New York one. Oh, sorry, did my thing pause? My phone's gonna die. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, Hawaii, Philadelphia, New York, Dallas, Nashville. And I can't remember, I think this is Denver or something, no. No, this one is, um, hold on. Now I'm curious. This one is, oh, this one's Crete. When my husband went to Greece. He got that one. That's right. So yeah, so we do like these. These are great. Another great option if you're going to make a full size 7.7 .7 ounce coffee. And then sometimes I'll do like, uh, oops, there's my other, my other one like that tipped over. Um, sometimes I'll do my iced coffee in a wine glass too. And then we just have like, there's my brewmate. I mean, my um, hydro flask to go mug. Like I said, I have like eight of those Fiesta Wear mugs. This is just another glass one that a friend had gotten me. And then that one, this one's kind of cool. So this one is good for a large coffee. This was from, this was a Starbucks one, I believe. It's worn off. So I think this was a Starbucks one from Thailand. No. 
This one wasn't, okay, I have a Starbucks one from Thailand, but that's in our camper. This one was also when my husband went to Thailand, I'm pretty sure, um, or Portugal, one of the two. He, he's in the military, so <laughs> he gets to go a lot of really cool places, so he picks up coffee mugs. So yeah, so that's kind of the rest of our collection, but these are really what I reach for, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope it was kind of fun to see my coffee bar and I had fun sharing it with you guys. If you're interested in more coffee content, I would be more than happy to share that with you. I could do um, capsule taste tests for you. I definitely am willing to go into my coffee collection and share with you my favorite capsules if that's something you would be interested in. Just let me know. I know I'm my wax videos aren't going anywhere, um, but this is just something else I love. This, and I was also considering doing some reading type videos, like some, I don't really want to be like a booktuber, but like, you know, maybe talking about some things that I've read. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.